Hey, I'm Tim. This is my tractor trailer tiny house. Uh, after I saw the new movie Mad Max Fury Road, I wanted a tiny house and a tractor trailer, and luckily a toter home offers you both. Let's go check it out. So, starting with the living room is, of course, our overhead bunk and our sofa over here. It's a standard single size mattress when you pull these back cushions off so you can sleep one person here. Then underneath, you have full storage, which is built in, so big carpeted storage underneath each box. Over here is one of my favorite parts of the project. This is an ethanol burning fireplace. And there's a TV that hydraulically lifts out from behind it. So this TV comes up and is part of the whole entertainment center. There's a sound bar hidden back here, an optional subwoofer that's hidden under this sofa over here. You look at these panels. Now wire it in for surround sound if you want that. All these roll down as part of your blinds so the entire thing can get blacked out. And then we'll just kind of transition the kitchen. This is my full stainless steel kitchen. Uh, it's a combination of stainless and butcher block and then white mosaic tile back here. This burns propane that comes from a tank that's buried underneath the underside of the cut carriage. You pull this out, everything is these full extension drawers all the way down. And then a dishwasher right here. Got a full size RV fridge, which means it burns both propane and runs off of AC. And then I have my microwave over here. Here's the bar island. It has a little hidden bar over here so you can hide ice and whatever you need for your bar stuff. And then more storage for a vacuum cleaner or large stuff under here. This is a barn door that's also a chalkboard so you can write notes to all your roommates on this. And then it brings us back in the back. Once we go in the back bedroom area, uh, it's kind of divided into two areas. The bathroom over here and then the bedroom here. So as for the bathroom, it's a full Blade Runner style shower. So these all come together and automatically latch closed. And then over here is your vanity sink with a full washer dryer right here. Here's your closet setup. And these are overlapping closet doors. I like these a lot because when they overlap, they create like a cool lighting effect. And then all these custom drawers that I built are full extension. Favorite part about this is these are 150 gallon water tanks on each side that make up a bench. So when you want to work, you sit here, it seats about four. And then when you're ready for bed, there's a queen size bed hidden behind this wall. A little bit of a mess right now, but this automatically slides under, it's on a wheel. So it just catches under and folds under. Then here's the full Murphy bed setup, and it rolls right back up, so it really doesn't require any force. It's all hydraulically assisted up. And when the desk catches, it goes up the rest of the way. Then you just relock it down. These black out the back bedroom, so you have full privacy. And then when you're ready to be done with these, you just pull them up. So the shower is a full rainfall shower type, and there's a skylight up above, so even a guy like me who's 6'2", can stand in here at all without any kind of crouching. And when you close this, they magnetically seal together. And finally, here's the bathroom. Go in here. It's a standard bathroom and an RV toilet. It has a bidet and a little bit of storage overhead. Skylight overhead, so if you need to vent it out, you can do so. Standard marble floors throughout here. Uh, everything else in the RV is a flexible vinyl floor, but this small area allowed for my marble tiles, which I really want. Let's see, I think that's everything. I guess we'll just show the cab real quick. And my favorite part about this is that it's a full-size commercial truck, so if I want to go somewhere,
Here's a better view of the outside while it's in my shop. It just got washed and now it's getting ready for some touch up. The old bumpers have a little bit of rock chips they're taken care of, but now it's all polished. It's all shiny and chrome, which is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So they got both tanks and like all the wheels and the exhaust tips. Oh, wow. Uh, right now the caps aren't on there because they uh, took those off to polish those, but those are getting on next, but I couldn't wait to show you. So here it is now.